Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on May 22nd, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, and earthquakes. A very busy day indeed. Looking at our sun here, 304 angstroms, still a very active northwestern limb, and as well, a little bit of activity in the southern hemisphere. Looking here at another light, you can see four coronal holes. And there was one Earth facing, it kind of diminished. But it's that little spot, the southern hemisphere, that makes that little flash in the last image there. We're going to have a quick, closer look at this. And all of a sudden, mainstream media is starting to talk about the grand solar minimum. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe because most of North America is still dealing with cold temperatures and there's still a lot of drastic changes happening on our planet. And now they're admitting the grand solar minimum that our sun could be going to sleep and that it could have disastrous effects on our planet. Isn't that something? Something a lot of us have been talking about for years on YouTube is now gone mainstream. Something they were hushing us about. The possible solar minimum, a solar cycle that happens about every 250 to 350 years. Our last mini ice age in the 1600s is around the last time. Looking here at a real time solar wind and we're steady at about 350 kilometers per second but what's interesting is here the flip in the phi angle back and forth over the past 24 hours. This is the 24 hours for solar wind. It's just that flip of flopping away. Quick look at our Schumann resonance for today. Looking at a power of 32. And seven point six megahertz earthquakes last 24 hours for earthquakes let's get this get to this as we had a large 6.1 early this morning in mexico san jose del cardo as well a 5.1 reported nevada again still watching many earthquakes in this region tonopa Watch out, Long Valley Volcanic Field is about to blow. Look at all this. We haven't had this much activity in the region, I don't, not even in my three years reporting on YouTube. Let's get to the last 24 hours here, I'm going around the world, Papua New Guinea there with a 4.8, as well 4.8 and 4.6. Indonesia, and back earlier, that 5.1 in Japan, as well, Jarm, Afghanistan, 4.3 at a 200 kilometer depth. And in Greece today, we had a 5.1 at a 10 kilometer depth. Shallow earthquakes going off there, but still many earthquakes since the large earthquake in that region last week, right on the fault line in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. And then we're getting the action in the Dominican again, but definitely gonna be watching North American plate over the next little while as all this activity is going on. Large 6.1 in Mexico. All of the earthquakes in Nevada. And the earthquakes have been spreading straight, straight across the plate. So we had a 2.5 there in Kentucky. It's not reporting. There were other earthquakes in Oklahoma that went through and as well Tennessee that are not being shown here. Just looking at the last seven days for this region, this is where all the activity has been. So stay safe, aware, and prepared. I warned yesterday from my video, the deep earthquake. Watch for a larger shallow earthquake to follow. That was the 500 kilometer depth earthquake in Tonga. Within 24 hours, we had the 6.1 in Mexico. Around the world, that interesting earthquake in Africa, rare earthquake.
very strange planet going on right now. And you ain't seen nothing yet. Just wait till the five day forecast. We're going to go to the Pacific Disaster Center here. Look at the most recent alerts. Actually, first, I'm going to show you here the large low pressure system across the Pacific. Just look at it. It literally spans from yeah, the northern parts of Japan to Alaska. Insane. Let's get to volcanoes. Era in, in Japan, Kluchevskoy, as well Ebuko in Russia, uh, Suisse and Ejima in Japan, Dokono in Indonesia. But it's mostly flood alerts and storm alerts. Look at this. Vietnam, Brazil, Mexico, Guatemala, Congo region, Uganda, Western Australia, India, Pakistan, Thailand, everywhere. Our planet, there's something going on big time on our planet. And this is not our regular uh, daily do. Um, I'm trying my best just to keep my composure here because what I'm watching across the planet is not normal. So we're observing here Cyclone Manga, who is heading towards Western Australia. Most likely will be a Category 1 tropical storm, but will bring a lot of moisture. And when it hits the coastline, looking at the five-day forecast, it's very interesting. It looks like it's going to split into two. And then half of it is going to survive. The other half is going to head towards the Southern Hemisphere. It's just very interesting. Now we're going to look at the Atlantic Ocean. And look at the size of this low pressure system that is affecting the United Kingdom and a lot of Europe right now. We'll be heading towards Iceland. That is a monster storm. These low pressure systems are getting bigger, they're getting stronger. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteo Earth, Meteo Mike. This is not your regular five day forecast. And anybody who has watched my five day forecasts here, they're going to notice a difference. We're going to start out here, home base, Calgary, Alberta. Very cool temperatures. We are now May 22nd. And still, we're getting snow in the lower and higher elevations of the mountains. And then across the east here, warmer temperatures across Ontario. My mom was reporting it felt like 30 degrees. I'll bet you because there's a lot of humidity headed your way from the Gulf of Mexico. We've got a different jet stream going on right now. And I don't know what to say or what we're going to do about it. But our Mother Earth is going to figure this out. Our planet will figure it out. It will try to balance. But when we've got low pressure systems that, that are developing in a very sticky and warm gulf, stay aware and prepared, my southeastern United States friends. And as well, stay aware and prepared, Alaska. As that large low pressure system over the Pacific brings a lot of rain and snow, and then dry, warm conditions straight across the United States. After the five day forecast, and then overlooking Europe, cool temperatures across the east, and then that large low pressure system that was affecting the United Kingdom that brought in all that warm, humid air. Like, I don't know what to say or do here. I mean, I'm looking at the Northern Hemisphere and these low pressure systems are all merging into one. In the five day forecast, uh, like an eye. So we have pretty much one low pressure system. It's gonna be spinning around Greenland. In the five day forecast. Very strong high pressure ridges that are just blocking it in the Atlantic. I haven't seen a forecast like this. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. A grand solar minimum much? We've got new jet streams. Look at our southern hemisphere versus the northern. This is the five-day forecast. Look at the size of these low-pressure systems. One. Two. And... There's just many low pressure systems that are joining into one. They're joining forces. It's getting stronger. And this is what I've been broadcasting. This is what I've been talking about for three years, that it's going to happen. And it's kind of freaking me out that it's happening. I love you all and thank you all for watching. But our planet 
is going through some big changes. And I appreciate everybody who has tuned in to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide because it's important to have this information shared. My research has proven that we could be on the verge of a grand solar minimum, that by 2030 and maybe even 2050, we could be enveloped into a mini ice age. And I'm not the only one that's talking about it now. So I appreciate everybody watching. And I don't know, did you notice a difference here in the five-day forecast? Because it has changed. I appreciate you all watching. Don't forget to smack that like button. Get in the comment section, say hi, and get your morning due. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Bye-bye.